All right, so I can go in my materials folder and see if there's any interesting materials here. And there aren't too, too many materials. Let's try typing in ceiling. And we can start to just drag and drop this material onto our ceiling. Okay, so it looks pretty good and interesting for a ceiling, but there's really not too, too much more, and I don't want to use these same tiles. Um, so I'm going to launch Bridge. And as long as I've got the plugin loaded, let's just start looking for surfaces. So I can go and click on uh, Home, and under Surfaces, We can just start to search visually, um, or we can start to type some things. So let's type in tile. And we can start to scan through these and see if there's any type of tiles that we might like. So let's try this one. Um, if it's something that I haven't downloaded already, I'll have to download this first, but as soon as I hit export, this is going to export this right into my engine and I can now simply drag and drop this on. Okay, I can even drag it onto my wall pieces if I like. But I want to do something a little more grungy and grimy than those clean ceiling, uh, clean tiles. So there's another set of tiles that might do well in the subway. So something like these red, uh, red tiles with the white stripe might look nice. I really do like the shininess uh, of the tiles. And we could try, you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's some marble here. Small square tile, yellow ceramic tiles. Glazed ceramic tiles. I think this is one that I like. Okay, so I'm going to double click on this material instance, and we've got some rotation here. So I'm going to rotate these 0.25 so that my tiles are now uh, more vertically uh, aligned. <clears throat> I'm also going to take a look at the roughness here. And I can just kind of lower this max roughness down and it's going to make my tiles uh, a little more shiny.
Then I'll take my normal map strength. I can lower that just a bit so that I don't uh, get so much of a uh, the kind of rough porousy look. All right, so next I want to get some bricks on here. So go back to bridge and uh, let's just type in brick. And for types, I'll select surfaces. And we can start to scroll through these <clears throat> until we find something that we like. And I think I like this classic brick wall. So let's export that to the project. <clears throat> and we can drag and drop this onto our walls. The other thing I can do is I can type in wall and hit enter and then simply drag and drop this into the uh, material slot. We'll see that I've got two elements displayed here. Uh, so I'll drag this in to there. And let me just undo that. Go to unlit mode. And I think all my walls are just over here. So I'm gonna kind of frame up so we can see a lot of my walls and I'll do the same thing. I'll drag and drop that into there and that will load in uh, all of those. So I can do the same with those pillars. I missed some pillars. So hit pillar, hit enter, uh, go to this material, and simply drag and drop that into here, and that will load it onto all my pillars. Now, it did it for these pillars as well, uh, so that's great. All right, so the next thing I want to do is find a floor. And I think this damaged concrete floor is what I want to use.
And again, it's a little easier to just kind of select them. Shift select them. Go into unlit mode. Let's make sure we grab all these little corners that we're missing. And we should be able to drag and drop that and load those in. Okay, so for these, I'm going to do another selection technique here. I'll go into my top view. I'll find that, you know, one of these walls. We'll select one of the walls so we can kind of be oriented. And I'll just simply click and drag over here. This is going to grab all kinds of stuff. So to deselect, I need to hold Control and Alt. And I'll drag onto that like that and that like so. And now when I go, I should have just those walls selected. And we can use our brick and drag and drop that onto there. Now these look like they're going the wrong direction. Um, but they'll be fine as a placeholder for the time being. Okay, so our scene is starting to come together. 